Good morning, welcome to the Truth Corner, and this session is Family Matters. My family is a big part of my life, and I feel like family matters in anything that you do. One thing I can appreciate is my family deprogramming me when I went through a depression of um, not knowing who I was and also my lack of self-confidence and self-esteem. One person I can definitely say I truly love is my Aunt Valencia. She's the person who helped me through my divorce and helped me kind of just get myself back to life. Um, she was very important during my divorce because she was the only person in our family who actually experienced a divorce. And she said that she never thought that she went through what she went through to help me. But she thanked God that she was able to be the person to help me. So I truly helped her. She was very transparent. And I got to tell her some deep things I haven't even shared with anyone. I trust her. She's like a vault. Um, a lot of people can talk to her and she won't tell anyone. Another person I can definitely appreciate is my mom. My mom is a strong woman. And she's one of those women who are like, oh no. Like, as soon as he walked through the door, she know he ain't the one. Like, she's one of them women. And I definitely appreciate her because she helped me not to take down just to get a man. She's the one who helped me to know my worth and to know what I deserve. And because of the person who she's with, my father, um, and she never took down and compromised, he loves her. And they're going on 31 years of marriage, I believe. And it wasn't always easy. Marriage in any kind of relationship is going to always be work. But I can appreciate um, her because she, one, has experience with her the time she's been um, with my father and also too because before she got married she had me and then her and my stepdad I call him my stepdad in this instance but my dad who she married um, I really think family is very important a lot of people don't have a lot of family so I can understand the um, emptiness in there I can't understand emptiness but I'm gonna say this, if you don't have family, try to create family. I know a lot of people who don't have family, their friends or their family. So try to create your own like little family, your little village. But my family definitely is the people who support me 100%. I don't think I would even be doing this show if I didn't get the support that I get, um, the prayers that I get. I mean, my family are constantly telling me how much they're praying for me and how much I mean to them, and how much I can do this. and um, I mean, just speaking life. I've, my family, I believe, and I, I, I don't know everybody's family out there, but my family is the kind of family who definitely speaks life into your life. Um, even if it's just like, oh, your child bad. Uh-uh, he is not bad. Don't say that about my grandson. He is not bad. Don't speak that deaf in my grandson. Like, any little thing, they are going to snip it in the butt. Anything that's negative. And that my people might not think that is negative, might not be that deep and go that far. They don't allow it. It's like, no, we're going to speak life in this family. So I can definitely appreciate that. I wanted to make sure that I talk about them because they are definitely my number one supporters after God and what they mean to me really matters so let's just start from the top to the bottom my grandparents i truly love them um, they are i guess i like to call them the headquarters of the family they're the ones who are the matriarchs and the ones who instilled in the uh, morals and respect when it comes to things of life my parents are praying parents they're the ones who are always speaking life into me and um, they're there for me when I need them financially, spiritually, emotionally. I can call them about anything. Um, at the age I am now, I definitely need them more than I did when I was younger. And I can appreciate that no matter how old I get, they're still, I'm still their baby girl. I'm still 
well I'm the oldest of the kids but I'm still their baby and they can um, I can count on them whenever my siblings and my cousins um, one particular I call is my sister cousin my best friend uh, my producer is Takira Briscoe you guys will learn a lot more about her later you know, shout out to Takira Briscoe check her out in the comments and Ashley Kira um, she's a person who I pray with cry with we definitely laugh at everything together even the craziest stuff we can get a good laugh in and we can laugh for a while but she's a person I truly trust. I can really, and she's so, for her to be so young, I mean, younger than me, she has a lot of wisdom. And I can go to her about, for anything. And if she can help me out, if she has the time for it, she will definitely do it. Um, and I love her work ethic. I love the way she is, what kind of mom. She's an amazing mom. I pray that I can be the mom that she is. I love her, her mother. It's, it's beautiful. I'm a little jealous, low key because it, it, like, it looks like it just comes so easy for her. And I'm like, oh, I can't do all that. I just don't. But amen, it is what it is. That's just who I am. <laughs> but um, my sister, she's the person who keeps me lively because she's just too much. I love her. She's a lot of personality. Uh, she is the flower of our family. And I just love her dearly. She would do anything for me. That's one thing I can't tell about my sister. No matter how much we fight, bicker, this and that, my sister would drop the world for me and i definitely love her and appreciate her for that i don't think i ever told her that but she would drop the world for me um i'm still like her big sister in her eyes like her hero in her eyes as, as if we were still young the other people i can appreciate are my cousins i have uh, thousands of those on every side of the family mom dad side my aunts my auntie uh, Tracy, I didn't mention her. She is the youngest of all the siblings. And she's my fun auntie. She's the one I can laugh with. We do a lot of laughing together too. And then we can get deep as well. And then back then we used to fight as sisters because she's um, not as old as her siblings. But she is the person I can say I love and she has my back as well. And I actually, she lets me use her space for a lot of things. So I love her for that. My uncles, I just think that family matters. And if you have a good family, make sure you pray with them, you appreciate them. Because a lot of things we take for granted. And one thing I can say, no matter how deep um, in the dumps I get, my family has always been there. So whoever I have around, um, and as far as a man, like if I start dating, my family's opinion definitely is gonna matter. First and foremost is gonna be God's opinion, of course, right? But you wanna make sure that the person you're with is not a person they're like, oh, Lachey come with her man again. Like, you don't wanna be that couple. And I was that couple for a while, and I was like, I, I can't be that couple again. I wanna make sure that whoever I'm with, my family definitely does appreciate, they love, and they can actually see the genuine love he has for me. So it will make them love him even more so because they know like you know that man loves my daughter my niece my cousin you know um my grandmother she's a sweetie pie my granny used to be really mean growing up and then i don't know when this transition happened but now she's so sweet she's a little sensitive so we gotta watch what we say because she would drop at the uh <laughs> she would cry at the drop of the dime but i can appreciate her i love her i love her cooking she shows love with cooking so if y'all want a good meal, well, I can't even put her out there like that because she's older now. I'm not gonna have my granny slave in the kitchen for y'all, okay? But I love my granny. She is hilarious. She um, is the retired Medea, but she can still cuss you out real quick if you don't get it. If you come in her family wrong, she loves her family. She's the youngest of nine children. So when it comes to her family, her kids, her grandkids, she loves us. And my father, um, I don't talk about my dad a lot, but I want to mention my dad. My dad is a beautiful man. He took me in as his own. He married my mom when I was four. And he that's my dad. Like, we laugh, we joke. Um, he is a man of very few words, but when he speaks, it's, he speaks volumes. And I love that about him. I can go to him about anything. And I just love my dad. He is the... He, what on my dad and the family, it, it would be a little weird because my dad is like really goofy and whatnot. But I just want to say I love my family. 
and without my family I couldn't do this I want you guys to take time out with your family and let them know how much you love them how much you appreciate them because you never know when is the last time you'll see them if you have um, cousins and siblings that you're bickering with let it go it's not that serious you only have one family like you only have one Treat your family right. Make sure you appreciate them. Make sure you take the nuggets. You eat the meat, spit out the bone. Take what you want to take from your family. Um, I just want to say that I love my family. And maybe one day um, you guys will meet them all. Um, until then, they're just going to be my little secret. Um, but you guys, just, just appreciate your family. And make sure that you do what you can to appreciate them. Whether it's just being around them, sending them a text, I love you, or anything. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't even know what to just say. Just, they just make me, I, I appreciate them now, especially being single. Like, that's it. I don't need nothing else in the world. If I don't ever get married again, I'm okay. But my family is my family, and I love them. And I love you guys. So make sure you think it, you do it, and you be it.